Welcome my fellow subscribers and all the newcomers. As you may know, in many countries of the world the death penalty is imposed on those convicted mainly for serious crimes. In any case, the way of execution is quite different. Lethal injections, shooting, hanging and gas chambers. Luckily or not, in Russia the last death sentence was carried out on the far August 2, 1996. It was assigned to the serial killer and rapist Sergei Golovkin. And less than a year later, in April 1997, capital punishment was completely abolished. The first death sentences were practiced in the times of East Islamic tribes in ancient Russia. A version of the appearance of the death penalty refers to the ancient practice of blood feud. Mutilation of a person of even his death was necessary as retribution. Relatives of the victim dealt with the murderer himself or with one of his own relatives. The conditions of blood flute depended completely on characteristics of people. For example, in the North Caucasus several centuries ago, there were quite a lot of reasons for blood feuds. Murder, land grabbing, abduction of a girl, insulting honor, all of these crimes were punishable by death. But if the deceased didn't have any relatives, responsibility for punishing the guilty person pays to the state. In Tsarist Russia, the prisoner had the opportunity to express his last will. Depending on his social status, the nature of the crime or simple bribery, the condemned could request a meeting with their family, a visit of a priest or a final meal. The tradition of the last wish still exists in the United States where usually you can find that the condemned's order is limited to $40. A small amount of alcohol is also allowed it. But how were things in the Soviet Union, you may ask? In USSR, there was no special treatment for those sentenced to death. They were kept in regular cells and fed the same prison rations as others. Most often, the sentence was carried out on the same day it was announced. There were no formalities, rituals, and definitely not final words for the condemned. The presence of a doctor at the execution was not mandatory. Death declaration was often made by the executioner. The relatives of the executed were not informed of the execution. For reasons of humanity, the condemned were not told the purpose of the trip, and before the shot was fired, the eyes were covered. Death penalties reached their peak during the moments of the Great Terror when between the years 1937 and 1938, the organ NKVD sentenced over 680,000 people to death. In the second half of the 20th century, the repressive machine became significantly more human, and death sentences were reduced. After the sentence was announced, convicts had the opportunity to file a cassation appeal and a request for pardon. These requests were considered for months, giving the person time and hope for a happy outcome. Such petitions were filed, for example, by Grigory Sinoviev and Lev Kamenev. The Central Executive Committee reviewed them immediately and rejected both of them. The enemies of the people were shot the next day. A person sentenced to death spent all their time until the last hour in a solitary cell. They were allowed to have books from the local library and were only taken out of the cell once a week for a shower. They ate exactly the same as the other prisoners. The prison menu included meat, milk, cereals, vegetables and even fruits. In reality, the meat stayed with the wardens and did not reach the prisoners. The milk went to the kitchen workers and inmates with status, while the vegetables and fruits were often not fresh. The condemned were forbidden from having visitors, walks, or receiving packages. Those who asked were given the opportunity to pray. But as the prison guards and prosecutors who oversaw the legality of executions recall, few among the inmates who were raised in the spirit of atheistic ideology wished to do so. Simple requests like a last cigarette before death were also granted. According to the regulations, nothing from the personal belongings of the condemned could be given to the relatives. But if it was something like a photo of a son for a mother, the prison guards might break the rules. Take from the memoirs of the former head of the prison in the Azerbaijanese SSR, Khalid Yunusov, the condemned intuitively knew about the last hour. The convict was escorted to the basement on the guard. 
there were several cases registered when literally the person died of fear before reaching the execution room. In these cases, the medical examiners recorded a heart rupture. The rest were brought into a windowless room, made to kneel, and the executioner pulled the trigger. There was no question of a last meal or a last wish in the USSR. As the prison guards claimed, the atmosphere before the execution was such that even the inmates themselves did not think about it. Notably ill inmates sentenced to death were not executed in USSR. They were treated until recovery with regular medical examinations. That's all for me. If you found the video interesting, please like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.